let's move to the question number 32 this question is having a correction it should be half hour less than the manu this question is incomplete put half in place of dash hours it is half hours so pause the video and try to solve this question so let's approach this question in this question manu and aiza are competing a 60 kilometer cycle race here in this question, Manu and Isa, two persons are given, Manu and Isa, and they are competing a race, a cycle race. The total distance is given as 60 km. So for Manu also the distance is 60 km and for Isa also the distance is 60 km. Further, it is given the Isa average speed is 10 km greater than Manu's average speed. Let's assume Manu's average speed is x km per hour. And what is the average speed of Isa? It is 10 km per hour greater than the Manu's average speed. So, Aiza's average speed will be equal to x plus 10. x is the average speed of Manu and it is 10 km per hour greater than the Manu's speed. So, it will be x plus 10. Further, it is given Aiza has finished the race in half hour less than the Manu. Obviously, the speed of Aiza is 10 km per hour greater than Manu. So, she will finish the race faster as compared to Manu. And she has finished the race half hour before Manu's finishing the race. Let's assume the time taken by Manu as t. So what will be the time taken by Aiza? It will be t minus half. Half hour, so it will be t minus half, the time taken by Aiza. And in this question, we have to find the time taken by Manu to finish the race. It means we have to calculate t in this question, the value of t, the time taken by Manu to finish the race. So let's proceed. Here the formula of speed and distance will be used. Distance is equal to speed into time. This will be used. Firstly, let's see for the Manu case. Distance is given as 60 km. Speed is x and time is t. Distance is equal to speed into time. So we can write x into t is equal to 60. x is the speed, t is the time and 60 km is the distance. Got it? Let's also use the same principle for Isaac case. Here distance is 60 km, speed is x plus 10 and time is t minus 1 by 2. So speed into time it is distance. So let's put it x plus 10 into t minus 1 by 2 is equal to 60. Got it? In this equation we have to find the value of t. So let's eliminate the value of x so that we can only focus on the value of t. Here x into t it is 60 that we have just calculated. Can we get the value of x here? x we got as 60 upon t. Let's replace x with 60 upon t. Now we got a big equation and in this equation only variable is t. We will try to solve this equation. We will get the equation in the term of square. Again we will solve the equation to find the value of t. This equation is having only one variable. That is good. So let's solve this equation. Firstly let's take the LCM as t in this part and LCM as 2 in this part. It will be 60 plus 10 t upon t into 2 t minus 1 upon 2. In the denominator, it will be 2 times t. Let's take it on the right hand side. On the right hand side, we got 60 into 2 times t, that is 120 t. 60 into 2 t, it is 120 t. In the left hand side, 60 plus 10 t, can we take 10 as common from this term? We got 10 into 6 plus t, rest terms will remain the same. Here 120 and 10 it will cancel out. Further let's open the bracket. 6 plus t into 2t minus 1. Let's open the bracket. Firstly let's multiply it with 6. It will be 12t minus 6. Plus let's multiply this term with t. It will be 2t square minus t. 12t and 12t will cancel out. So we got the equation as 2t square minus t minus 6 is equal to 0. This is an quadratic equation. Let's solve it. Here the product it should be minus 12 that is minus 6 into 2 it is minus 12 and the sum it should be minus 1. So we got the two number as minus 4 and plus 3. If we multiply minus 4 and plus 3 it will be minus 12 and minus 4 plus 3 the addition it is minus 1. So we got our equation as 2t square minus 4t plus 3t minus 6 is equal to 0. Let's further solve it. Let's take the common term we got 2t plus 3 into t minus 2 is equal to 0. We got 2t plus 3 is equal to 0 and t minus 2 is equal to 0. 
So we got two answers. First is t is equal to minus 3 by 2 and the second t is equal to 2. The time cannot be in negative. So let's cancel out minus 3 by 2. Only the applicable solution is t is equal to 2 hours. That is the answer of the question. Manu will take 2 hours to complete the race. That is the answer of the question. Got it? We have solved this question. So that's it for this lecture. Thank you very much for being with Creator Classes. Check out the description for various links to various resources. If the content is helpful, like, subscribe and share this video. Thank you very much and best of luck.